Welcome to WP Mail SMTP, the most popular SMTP and PHP mailer for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your site's email deliverability issues by setting up WP Mail SMTP with Brevo, previously known as Send in Blue. Email deliverability is probably the biggest and most common issue that WordPress users face on a day to day basis. This includes important emails either ending up in a user's spam folder or not being delivered at all. The best way to fix this issue is to authenticate your site's emails using SMTP and selecting a specific mailer option to help you deliver your emails reliably each and every time. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Before we get started, you'll need to make sure you have an active Brevo account. If not, you can go to their website to sign up for a free account. After you've signed up for your account and provided the required information, you'll need to first authorize your domain. In the Brevo dashboard, Click on your company name in the top right corner and select Senders and IP from the menu, then click on Domains, and then add a domain on the following page. Enter your website's domain, then click Save. Afterwards, you'll be taken to a new page that will show you several DNS records you'll need to add to your site's DNS settings. Open a new tab and log into the service where you purchased your site's domain. This is often your site's hosting provider, and find your site's DNS settings. Each DNS settings page will look different depending on your provider, but regardless, there should be an option to add new records. For Brevo, you'll need to add two TXT records to your site's DNS settings. Let's go through adding the first record as an example. On your DNS settings page, click the option to add a new record and specify what type of record it's going to be. In my case, the first record I'm going to add is a TXT record. Tab back to Brevo, copy the hostname value, and go back to your DNS settings and paste it into the hostname or name field. Go back to Brevo, copy the text in the value column, and paste it into the value column in your DNS settings. You'll repeat this process for both TXT records generated by Brevo. If there's an option for something called TTL, know that it stands for time to live. This should be set to 24 hours or 86,400 seconds, depending on what units your DNS uses. Once the records have been added to your site's DNS settings, this may take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours to propagate. However, sometimes this process is a lot quicker. You can try and click the Verify and Authenticate button as a quick test. Once Brevo has verified the records, you should see a green check mark to the right of the record on the list. However, we don't have to wait for the records to be verified to move on to the next step, so open a new tab, log into your WordPress site, and go to the settings page of WP Mail SMTP. On this page, we can begin configuring the mailer settings. Here you'll see two fields, from email and from name. By default, these fields will be filled in by your site's admin email address and the site name. In the from email field, enter an email address that contains the same domain you authorized in Brevo. You can also check the box labeled Force From Email if you'd like the address in the From Email field to be used all across your website. In the From Name field, feel free to write in any name you'd like. You can also select the Force From Name field if you'd like this to be applied to all emails site-wide. Scroll down to the Mailer section and select Brevo. You should then see a few additional fields, API key and sending domain. We'll need to copy the API key from our Brevo account, so tab back to your account and click on the menu in the top right corner and select SMTP and API. Click on the API tab and select on the Click Here link to generate your key. Rename your API and click the Generate button. Once the key appears, be sure to copy it and store it somewhere safe as you won't be able to view it again once you close this. Copy the key and go back to your WordPress site to paste the key into the API key field. Sending domain is optional, but this will allow WP Mail SMTP to check for any domain side errors in Brevo. So if you'd like, you can write in your domain name in this field. Finally, once you've made sure that the verification process on Brevo's end has been completed, click on the Save Settings button at the bottom of the page. To make sure everything is working properly, let's send out a test email. Click on the Email Test tab at the top of the page, and in the Send To field, you can enter whatever email address you have access to to receive the email. When you're done, click Send Email. When the test email has been sent, check your inbox to find the newly arrived message. And that's all there is to it. 
You now know how to set up WP Mail SMTP with Brevo. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to visit WPMailSMTP.com and check out our documentation page, where we have step-by-step -step written instructions that can help you get started and learn more about what WP Mail SMTP has to offer. If you need any extra technical help, you can always go to our contact page and reach out to our support team.